Hey, Bola Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay. I have a short video. Um, I sell on Poshmark. It's not like my best platform. I do okay, but I sell mostly clothes on there. So it's hard to get bolos really. But um, I'm going to share with you some of my items that I sold for a good profit. I guess I would call them a bolo. I got them for a good price. And um, yeah, so this is a Poshmark Bolo video, my what solds. And I'm not showing you everything I sell on Poshmark. Um, you would be bored to tears. So we are gonna get started here. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do that. Be sure to check out my what sold Mercari videos, my what sold eBay videos. And when I say what sold, I again, do not show everything. I just pick um, items that I call Bolos, items to be on the lookout for. That's pretty much the basis of my channel, but I am trying to expand a little. So if anybody has any suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, trying to think. Category videos. I just did a hat one. Ooh, I have a couple good ones coming. They're waiting to be released. So be sure to hit that bell and that will alert you when I post new videos. Like, comment, share, all of those things help bump me in the search results and I really, really, really appreciate it. My sign made by ISO Bolo, Dave made that. I have his information down in the description of this video if you are interested in getting a sign. That thing is 30 inches long, I think. I think that's what he said, but it is awesome and I love it, love it, love it. And he also made me this little guy, which is fantastic. Also, it's got, um. It hangs by a little string. I love it. But anyway, check him out. He's got great prices and he does a fantastic job. So um, yeah, a little shout out there to him. All right, we are gonna get started here. All right, so I love this one and I do not go into thrift stores much. I'm just, I, I actually went today. So I'm saying that and I actually went to a thrift store today and I found some decent stuff. I'm, I think I found a bolo. Um, but I don't really look at the clothes when I go to a thrift, to the thrift stores. I don't know why, probably because I'm like tired of clothes. I don't know why that's okay there. That's better. Um, and I'm trying to get away from clothes, but I was kind of like going through the jeans and I saw these vintage Jordash and I'm like, huh, vintage Jordash. Maybe I should check these out. And I decided to buy them and I want to show you the butt. So you can see they're truly vintage and vintage tends to run small. That's why I put waist 27 inches. Um, and these had the raw edge hem. So they're long and um, you have to like hem them to finish them off. But I bought these, oh, I think they were on half off day. So I think I got them for $2.50. I should have checked before I started the video, but I'm pretty sure I got them for a really good deal. And I sold them for $70 on Poshmark. So very cool. Poshmark does take 20%, but there's no store fee. There's no listing fees. Um, you do have to spend a lot of time sharing. But at this point, I hardly share on Posh anymore. I just don't have time with the YouTube channel and eBay and Mercari. And I started Etsy. And, you know, I'm just trying to, like, keep it all together. Um, what I do on Poshmark, because I figure most people um, watching this are going to be Poshmark sellers. When somebody sends me a, or when they like my item, I send them an offer and then I share that item. So I'm still sharing every day. I'm not just, I'm just not sitting down and taking like an hour to share. I've built up my, um, my, uh, I have a lot of brawls listed. I have 109,000 followers. So it took me some time to get that about a year. And now I just kind of just let it kind of go. I'll probably, you know, I go through phases where I'm working on things. And right now I'm trying to clean up my eBay store with all the item specifics. So that's been a nightmare. Um, so yeah, I go through phases. So I'm sure I'll get in another little spot where I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to share for like a month and then I'll, you know, work on something else. So, all right. The next item that I consider to be a bolo is this sweater vest. Um, it's like Thanksgiving, you know, Halloween type fall. Let's call it fall. 
Um, Belponte or Bellpoint. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Me and my, how I pronounce things. What do you guys think? How would you pronounce that? Because there's an E on the end. Bell, hmm. Anyway, I'll let you guys figure it out. That's what the tag looks like. And this is not a huge bolo, but I picked this up for a dollar at an estate sale and it sold for 25 and again, I just thought it was kind of fun and I figured somebody would buy it and they did. So the next item is this vintage Ralph Lauren skirt. I think I got this at the same estate sale. Uh, again, I'm trying to get out of clothing, but when I see things that are super cool like this, I have to buy it for a dollar. And I actually took 50 bucks for this. I think if I would have held out, I probably could have gotten more for this skirt because it's it's amazing. It's wool, it's plaid, it's red, it, it's sharp, um, it's vintage, it's amazing. But I took a best offer of 50, paid a buck, so definitely something to be on the lookout for. This is just a Harley Davidson belt. I picked it up for like a dollar, sold it for 22. I may have even gotten it for 50 cents. Um, but it's not like in... I mean, it's kind of faded there. It's not in amazing condition, but it's it's cool. It was a cool bolo. Um, I call it a bolo. If I can get it for a buck and flip it for $22, i am good with that. The next item is this. Okay, so everybody says Avon doesn't sell, and I would have to agree in most cases Avon does not, se does not sell for super high prices. And this is not a super high price, but I bought a box full of jewelry and watches and I have probably 10 cents in this watch and I was like you know what this is going to go to somebody who likes Betty Boop and I had my husband put a new battery in it it was still in the box new has the little whatever on it I sold it for $17 so 10 cents and 17 bucks not a huge bolo but you can pick things up like this at garage sales and estate sales super cheap Throw them on posh, let them sit there. The right buyer will come along, even if I would have sold it for 15. You know, that's still a good margin. So bread and butter, not a huge bolo, but a good bread and butter item. These little retired Limax Christmas Village figurines. Um, that's what they look like. They're just small, but I sold this for 20. I, I want to say there was an, Okay, so I went to this garage sale and I bought a bunch of stuff and then I saw on Facebook where everything was free the last day. And I'm pretty sure I went back and these were there free. I don't think I paid for these. So free turned it into $20. All right, so this one, this one was like, oh, I took 75 on it. I really feel like it was worth a lot more, but I just, I paid $5 for it at a garage sale. And I was like, you know, I just want to move it. I don't know if, I think this might've been handmade. You can see there was kind of like some area, not, I mean, nothing major, but a little bit of whatever you want to call that. I don't even know what you would call that, but it's really a neat jacket. And see right here, doesn't it look handmade? Does anybody know anything about items that are handmade? Would you think this is handmade? I think it might be. And there you can see the wear. We'll call it wear. <laughs> character. We'll call it character. That's even better. But yeah, I paid five bucks and I sold it for 75. And I had this listed. I had it cross posted and it sold on Poshmark first. So a little, <clears throat> excuse me, a little tip that I do on Poshmark because they only allow so many characters in the description. It drives me bonkers. But I will put see comments for more details and then I will put any additional comments or information that I have on the item in the comments so that the person buying can make an informed decision. So just a little tip. This I picked up for a dollar at a garage sale and again I probably could have held out for more but 50 bucks is 50 bucks. It's just like a decor piece. It's vintage Halloween from 1997. Um, it's a really cool piece, not super huge, but definitely, definitely going to get noticed if you sit it out. It's very, very cool. So yeah, I took $50 on that one. 
The next item is this 1991 Mr. Christmas Santa's marching band. So these are lights that you put on your tree, not lights. Um, they're bells that you like hang like lights on your tree and they, you know, play music and jingle, <laughs> but the packaging was ripped. But Mr. Christmas is a great bolo item. Definitely be on the lookout. And Poshmark now has a home section, if you guys don't know. So if you're selling on eBay and you're not a Poshmark seller, you don't have to just sell clothing. You can sell home decor on Poshmark now. So definitely, definitely, um, definitely consider it. You know, getting on more platforms is definitely something to consider. When eBay is slow, you might get a sale on Poshmark or Mercari or Etsy or whatever other platform. And all in all, it just, you know, makes for more sales, in my opinion. It is more work, of course, but... Okay, so I love these. These are vintage ornaments. They're super, super cute. Uh, Depos, I think is how you say it. D-E-P-O-S-E. -E. Italy is what is marked on these. Uh, let me see if I can find it. I think I took a picture. Uh-oh. Did I just pause the video? I don't know where my picture went. Uh-oh. Am I still recording? Hide menu, open menu. Sorry guys, I don't know. Well, it looks like I'm still recording, so I'm not gonna, my picture disappeared. I don't know what I did. Oops. Okay. Um, anyway, clicked on it. But yeah, they, they're marked on the back. And you only get eight pictures with, um, trying to find it, eight pictures on Poshmark. So I know that I had them on eBay right here. Like it's marked there. They're marked in different places. It's kind of weird. I cannot see where they're marked. But they are all marked. Maybe, is it right there? It's hard to tell. Anyhow, definitely be on the lookout. All right, the next item, and my picture did not come back out. Oh no, how am I gonna, how am I gonna fix that? Hmm. Okay, well, hopefully I didn't mess anything up. Okay, so these Boyd's Bears, I can't remember if I showed you guys this one or not, but I'm gonna show you because I don't know if I'm recording. My light's not on. All right, well, I'll have to check when I'm done and I may be redoing this video. So 12 Boyd's Bears, these are ornaments. They sold for $75. I can't remember what I paid for them. I'm guessing probably less than $5 for all of them. The next item are these Disney Winnie the Pooh earrings. They sold for $38. I picked them up in a little tin of jewelry and in the tin was a gold bracelet and it was real gold. I didn't even see the bracelet. I just wanted these Pooh earrings and then there was a gold bracelet. But funny thing is, is I just found another pair of these earrings at a garage sale. So I haven't listed them yet. I need to get them listed, but they're identical. I can't believe it. The next item is this Mary Kay lipstick. This is downtown brown. This is the one you want to look for, this color. This sold for $45. And the last item is this vintage apron. Super cute. I got it at an estate sale. It was a long tail item. It took a while to sell, but I sold it for $25 and I probably had 25 cents in it, maybe. So that is this video. It's super short. Um, let me take you into my closet. And I have 4,580 listings, but some of those are sold. And you can see I've got just a huge, um, I have a huge store. But I'm really trying to get into other items besides clothing and yeah, definitely check out Poshmark. And again, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And thanks for watching and have an awesome night. And I'm sorry about the camera.
technical difficulties. All right, guys, thanks for watching.